Thanks for staying with us. So we got a story from the FCC, FGGC or your state about the allegation of rape with a 14-year-old girl. Um, and according to the reports that we have, this is not the first time. It's been almost a decade-long issue where young girls have been raped. And many also alleged that since the resumption of the current principle, these rape cases have heightened. And to the point where this young girl was recently raped and the report has been, um, the police has made some arrests. On the phone this morning, we have with us um, the Secretary, Old Girls Association, Federal Government, Girls College, or your state, Olamide Odeneye Thompson, who will be telling us exactly what happened. And then we'll have the Commissioner of Police, or your state command, um, Adebo Ali Williams, who will also be telling us exactly how, much, how um, the arrests have been made and what the investigations are ongoing so far. Let me start with the... Um, Secretary of the Old Girls Association, Olamide Odeneye Thompson. Good morning, madam. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Good morning, Mariah. Good morning. We got this story and it was quite disturbing. Could you give us an idea of exactly what happened and why your, why your organization is asking for the suspension of the principal? Well, thank you, Mariah. Um, the notice got to us about two weeks ago um, when we got some information online about this uh, rape incident. And as old girls, we saw into action immediately, um, speaking with principal, uh, trying to get um, an idea as to what exactly happened. And um, I can tell you for a fact that, you know, um, the panel was set up immediately um, in Oyo. Uh, the principal, it's the school. Uh, management board committee, so it uh, has representatives of uh, the host community, the old girls, um, the principal, and some concerned staff uh, were at that meeting, and you convened on salary to show you the importance of this. And uh, the panel has sat and they have sent forward their report to the Federal Ministry of Education. Now, it was alleged that a 14-year-old girl was actually um, sexually assaulted by a teacher. This is somebody um, in, in trust, somebody that we have kept children in trust yes. uh, with in the school. And the panel has put forward their report and that has been sent to the Federal Ministry of Education. And as all those, we have also put up our own uh, committee to also do a parallel investigation to actually confirm exactly what has happened. And we've been speaking with uh, not just the principal of the school, but as well as the parents, uh, the PTA chairman, and a few other people um, of interest that we think um, will be important in giving us a full picture of what has happened. Now, let me say clearly that we do not, we totally condemn, but we decry all forms of abuse against women and girls, especially sexual assault. And by those that, you know, they are exploiting the power and the position of trust that they are in. So we totally decry that we're not in support of it at all. And I'm happy that the Commission of Police is also on this call because we, are, we also know that the teacher involved has been arrested. And we expect that the police will carry out full investigation and so start to court as quickly as possible. You know, so that we can get closure on this. Okay. Now, one thing I need to correct: I'm not aware of the decade-long rape cases. We are not aware of that. As old girls are going to Okay. We're yeah. not aware. But of I'd like you to clarify something for me. If indeed an arrest has been made okay. concerning this situation, why, therefore, is your organisation asking for the principal to be suspended? Because the police has already taken it up. So why? Is the principal also mm -hmm. seen as complicit in this? Well, the old girls have not asked for the principal to be suspended. I think that is the um, National Association of yes. Women Journalists, um, and that's the final chapter. Because uh, um, that interview uh, aired yesterday, uh, 6 p.m. TVC News. Um, we haven't asked, of course, for the suspension of the principal. Um, what we're saying is, we need to do a thorough investigation and find out the lab, find out exactly what happened and punishment. We method right. out to exactly who and who we find. Right. Um,
Okay, it, it was frozen. Now, let me just come quickly to the Commissioner of Police. Um, I'm told it's also on the phone. Good morning, sir. Are you there? Yes, madam. CP, madam. good to have you on. So, could you give us um, a, a summary of what's going on going concerning this matter right now? Can you confirm that someone has been arrested and how much investigation has gone on so far on this? Yes. Um, one, the, the victim, I mean, sorry, the suspect, Alayo Tessi Oyeboji, 49 years old, has been arrested. Uh, the victim claimed that um, the teacher, this person, Alayo Tessi Oyeboji, has been having carnal knowledge of her. And it has been a continuous act since wow. November 2021 to May 2022. And she got tired of the intimidation by the teacher who has threatened that she should not tell anybody. She got tired of this and decided to tell her mom, her friend. As a matter of fact, she said she complained to the principal and even the vice principal. But they did not do anything about it okay, until when the mother was told and she reported at the police station. The suspect was arrested somewhere in New York where he was enjoying himself. Mm. And today, we have charged him to court. The scene has been visited and it was confirmed that the description of the house, that is the staff quarters where the suspect was living, was living, is exactly the same as the girl described. And according to the girl, he used to intimidate her, at times using knives, hmm. and even some orthodox uh, 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 threats that if you do this, even if I can't use another thing, I could use spiritual stuff to hmm. deal with you. And according to the girl, she already to die, and that is why she decided to watch it out. All right, let me get a few questions in for you, sir. It was alleged that the principal of the FGCGC was also arrested. Can you confirm his participation in this? Yes, we sent invitation letter to the principal, and we equally sent letter to the Honorable Minister for his information and for official release of the principal and vice principal to come and answer to the allegations against them. Did they show up? Did they show up, sir? Hello? Did the principal show up? Let me question. Not yet. So Not prin yet. Okay. We are waiting okay. for the principal, I'm mean, sorry, the uh, release by the ministry. Then if he did not show up, then we'll arrest, we'll arrest them. Okay. okay. So, um... This story, um, we, we got, we all got information about it after um, the the protest that took place by women, um, the w women, women in journalism, the for your chapter when they came came to um, protest in the school. I what, at what point did the police get involved? Because I know that many times um, people would say we didn't get official reports and all of that. When did the police get involved? And because we need to reassure people that we can always trust the system. So can you break down how the system works? On this case and going forward, if anybody hears about this kind of thing happening, what should they do and what was done in this case and how did you guys get involved? Yes, um, the police got involved when the case was reported at Akiva police station. Okay. On 30th June, 2022. Okay. And it was reported by the mother who went with the girl to go and make the complaint. Okay, so l let me ask, um, what sort of help is this girl getting at the moment, even while investigations are ongoing? I'd like to take that question to the secretary for yeah. the old girls. Madam Malamide, could you help me answer the question from BC? What sort of help is the girl getting yeah, now? Yeah. 
uh, we're aware that um, she started um, uh, to see a specialist because really she, she really is traumatized. Uh, we're aware that she started seeing a specialist now. We confirmed that from her, from her parents. But um, we as old girls, we've also set up um, an initiative where we have members of the old girls who are actually experts and professionals um, to see how we can also be of help, not just to her, but to all other girls within the school. Because the honest truth is that there are a lot of lapses, as I said, and that's why, you know, having a proper committee on ground directly uh, from the Federal Ministry of Education with all girls and then uh, the Unity Students Old School Association, having that committee in place would also help us carry this initiative forward. So we're looking at proper reporting channels. You know, how come she was so scared? Was there a proper reporting channel within school? What happened? Who got the report first? Then what happened? You know, if the report comes out, you know, things like that. So we're looking at a lot of things. And also going forward to talk to girls about their own safety. Because another thing that we're, we're seeing, you know, with this age of social media is the fact that, you know, um, we're seeing adults being able to talk to children outside even the comfort of the school. So it's not just we, we, what, what I sense is a sort of a, uh, a predator, setting, somebody who is a predator right now, who is talking to young girls and using his position as a teacher to prey on them. So we have a lot of initiatives that we're, we're currently discussing um, as old girls to see how we can actually bring help to this particular girl and other girls right. that we do in her situation okay. are still afraid to speak up and right. then girls remaining in school. Okay. Did you so, sorry to ask, did you find out any other case that you know presently is not bold enough to come out that is willing to share with you in privacy? Well, currently, right now, no, because the girls are actually preparing for, for exam. um, exams. So currently, they just got back from half term and they're preparing for their for their final exam. Like I said, we're also waiting for um, the rep of the Federal Ministry of Education who has also been directed to visit the school. So that's when we're going to go in as a committee to actually have those talks and investigations. But like I said, we're already speaking to some parents and we're already trying to get um, to discover if there are other cases and to also come up with a proper reporting channel, you know, which may not be within the school network. So I like the attention this is getting because sometimes you would hear people school knowledge say issues of defilement and stuff like this happens in school where the school authorities are able to nip in the bud either by sacking the person involved getting the police involved but in this situation because i'm reading the report it's saying that um sexual like sexual predators i'm seeing words like sexual predators suggesting that there were more suggesting that there were other cases and i can see that the um, the national Association of Women of Journalists are taking this so seriously because they've involved the NUJ, they've involved the NUT, they've involved various parts, even the Minister of Education. They're saying, come to our aid. So my question is, is it because of this one case? And I think that's oh, what Nima was trying to say. Or there, there, there's oh, evidence there. that there are multiple cases because when you see the kind of attention this is getting, you're thinking, is there more to this than what we're seeing? So I agree with you. Like I said, we old girls are not aware of a decade-long um, incident. We're not aware of a decade-long incident. We're not aware of that. Okay. All right. We have to we're wrap up. Aware of I'll let you know. But See, like I said, we're working and ensuring that right. definitely this gets the attention that it needs. Okay. Commissioner? Okay. Uh, Commissioner, sir. Commissioner, are you still there, sir? Yes, I'm with you. Okay. So, so when are we looking at, um, you know, are we, um, charging this um, suspect. suspect to court? He has been, he has, he has been charged to court okay. today. Oh, great. Family court, to family okay. court, or your state. Okay. All right. CP, in Lagos State, it's almost a known fact that once you have these kind of situations, we encourage our girls to rush, first of all, to the closest healthcare center, go to Mirabal Center, you know, how to report this. In your state, what do you have in place mm. that any child who is defiled or who is has been abused, sexually abused, what's the, what do you, what's the first what thing to do of, within you know? that state mm -hmm. to help before it even gets to you at all, mm -hmm. that you can have enough evidence to charge people like this? Mm -hmm. Uh, 
Hello? Yes, sir. Did you hear me? Can you repeat that? I said usually in Lagos, they were kind of used to hearing that once something happens like this, you, the girl goes straight to the, the closest healthcare center, go and look for the Easy Marable Center. Yeah. You, you oh, have you a, a the... kit. There's a rep kit you get immediately just to have enough to provide to the police. Or even when you get to the police station, there's the a rep kit, there's yes. a family. In all your state, the question is, what does a child or a family whose child has been defiled by an adult like this, what is the first step? Does it come to you? Or is there a center they can go to to ensure they have, they gather the evidence and able to prevent you? What exactly is the procedure within your state? Well, we don't have such, but we are collaborating with the uh, uh, National Association of Women Journalists for your state, civil liberty organization, Ministry of Education, the Office of Patrol General for your state, and all together, including uh, FIDA, to ensure that uh, justice is fair. All right. Thank you very much, CP. We appreciate your comments this morning. Um, allow me that we have to wrap up with you, but what's that final message you'd like to give um, concerning this issue? Because we've, we're giving you our, our platform well, who would you like to address this morning? Is it the Minister of Information or is it the school? What's your final word this morning? Well, I will still call on the Honorable Minister of Education because it's important that the report of that panel be acted on immediately. I know the teacher has been arrested, but we need to ensure that there's sanity in the process. It's very important mm -hmm. that there's sanity in the process. Very, very important. So we need that committee to be set up on time, and we need the proper punishment right. to be handed down to whoever we find that is um, an accomplice in this. That is all I want. Okay, to say. CP, are you still there? Before I let you go, what are the charges this morning? Are you there? Hello. What are the charges? Since you're going to court this morning, what exactly are the charges you're filing? He is being charged for defilement. Defilement. Serial defilement. Serial defilement, okay. Thank you, sir. All right, that's all we can take on the show. I hope, um, I think it's important to know that this issue of defilement happens in many schools. Yeah. It's not the first time. We've been hearing it for many years. Systems will be in place to ensure that that child who's it's defiled knows I have true. a way, mm. so I, have, I can get justice. So the same way we have it in Lagos State and other states, we're hoping that many more states replicate it. There's a, there should be a test kit. There should be something. All the schools should also put things in place to protect yeah. the students so they have a safe haven to report it. Um, that's all we can take on the show today. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday. Bye for now.